If you thought humans are always indispensable, maybe it's time to reconsider that. The latest paper from Google, Scaling Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback with AI Feedback actually proves a point that human beings, when they were asked to rate a response from RLAIF and RLHF, the win rate was almost similar, indicating that humans might prefer RLAIF instead of RLHF. Doesn't say that RLAIF is better than RLHF, but it actually says that RLAIF has a future here. So let's get into the paper. First of all, what is happening here? If you're not familiar with any of these things, do not worry, I'm going to go one by one. First of all, to start with reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF is a strategy that people have been using for quite a while to align large language models with human preferences by asking a lot of humans to rate a response and then by rating the response, they use that responses to train a reward model and then use reinforcement learning to train the large language model with the reward model. This is what is entirely happening in RLHF. I mean, I've oversimplified it, but this is what has been happening. Now there is a new technique called RLAIF. So RL, why is there an interest in RLAIF is that RLHF is proved to be one of the main reasons why the models like ChatGPT, BARD are doing really good. This has been considered as one of the secret sources by a lot of people. So people are obsessed with RLHF. But the problem with RLHF is the human part of it. Reinforcement learning from human feedback is the bottleneck here, which means you cannot scale up human beings unless you make a lot of babies. You cannot scale up human beings. And even if you make babies, you need to teach them. Everybody is different. Human beings are complicated structures, entities, sentience. So how can you scale the reinforcement learning from human feedback is something that a lot of people are wondering and working on. And that is how they came with something else called RLAIF, reinforcement learning from human feedback. Sorry, AI feedback. I'm obsessed with human beings. So what this paper is trying to do is this paper is ultimately trying to compare responses from reinforcement learning from human feedback and reinforcement learning from AI feedback and then compare it with the standard response from a supervised fine-tuned model and then see what human beings prefer and what they have found out that in more than 70 percent of cases RLAIF and RLHF were preferred by the human evaluators over the baseline of supervised fine-tuned model. Now of all these things there is a very very important detail that you have to understand. This is not for every single NLP task. This is specifically for summarization. So whatever we're going to discuss in this video, whatever this particular paper talks about is only for the task of summarization where you give a long text and then you ask the AI to summarize it and give you. So it doesn't mean that the AI is generally good for everything. RLAF is generally good for everything, but it shows that there is definitely light at the end of the tunnel. So let's go ahead and then see what the setup looks like. So you have got a supervised fine tuning model or an instruct fine tuned model. This model can respond, create two responses. Like it can create a response R1 and it can create a response R2. So it can have two different responses. Now this model, so you give the large text to this model and then you ask the model to summarize. That's how this section is. Now what you do next is you take one of the responses and send it to an off the shelf LLM, an LLM that is a pre-trained model or instruct fine tune for a general task, not for a specific task. In this particular case, this LLM is not being fine tuned for a summarization task. It could be like anything like your Lama or anything. So you take it to an off the shelf LLM and then ask the LLM to rate it. In the next section, we'll see how they're asking it to rate it. You're going to ask it to rate which one is better. So it's going to pick one of these items. Then that goes into a reward model training. A reward model is like to reward the model, which is like better one. So that goes into a reward model training. And then from the reward model training, the AI feedback is used with reinforcement training to come up with a new model. This is RLAIF, reinforcement learning from AI feedback. Now what has been happening before this, it goes to a human being, the human being would manually read it and then rate it which one is better, whether R1 is better or R2 is better. And the human feedback goes inside it in the model, once again, reward model, and then you can use reinforcement learning to train the final model. So both the responses go to AI, go to human, and then they pick the right one or they pick the one that they prefer. And that is what is being used to fine tune the RL model, the reinforcement learning model. 
Now, if you see this, the results are very in, insightful. So our results have shown that RLAF achieves comparable performance to RLHF measured in two different ways. The first one is we observe that both RLAF and RLHF policies are preferred by humans over a supervised fine tuning baseline model, 71% and 73% respectively. The two win rates are not statistically significant. That's another important detail that you need to keep in mind. So if you see this chart, what they're saying is that the supervised fine tune versus supervised fine tune. So if you are a human evaluator, you are being shown three responses. One, you are being shown the raw response from this. Second, you are being shown responses that are voted by this responses that are voted by this or the output of uh, after the voting after the model the output of this output of this so you've got output here you've got output here output here so what they're saying is that when human evaluators evaluated the win rate for rlhf is 73 percent versus the supervised fine tuning models response the response rate like the win rate from rlaf is 71 percent and uh, if you actually see that is a good thing first of all that is a good sign because now you are getting a 71% and 73% over the baseline of SFT, supervised fine tuning model. That means RLHF works. Um, simply RLHF is more preferable. And also it's a no brainer why it is preferable because humans help the model to be curated and now humans also prefer that. That's, that's one thing. But also it also reinforces the fact that the reinforcement learning as a concept within the large language model real actually works fine. That, that is the first one. And uh, just remember, these win rates are not statistically significantly different. It's the second one is when asked to directly compare the generations from RLAF versus RLHF, humans prefer both at equal rates. That's a 50% win rate. So that means humans prefer RLAIF and RLHF almost equally. This also indicates now that RLAF RLAIF reinforcement learning from AI feedback is a viable alternative to RLHF that does not depend on human annotation and offers appealing scaling properties. The bottleneck that we discussed at the start of the video where human beings are there, they are limited in number, they have limited knowledge, they have limited resources. Now this is the point where this alignment process can happen without human with just AI and that is what RLAIF is. So reinforcement learning from AI feedback can be a viable alternative for RLHF which is reinforcement learning from human feedback. That also indicates that at some point human beings could be replaced by AI in this reinforcement learning with human feedback process. Now if you are wondering if you are something if you are somebody who is technically interested this is how they are asking the AI to evaluate. They give a preamble like this. A good summary is a shorter piece of text that has this, this thing. So this is like if you are set, say, uh, a teacher who has to evaluate exam papers, you need to know what on what you need to evaluate. So that is what this preamble is. After the preamble is given, the example is given, and that's a one shot exemplar. And then the text is given, and then the summary is given, and then the second summary is given. So now the text and these two summaries are coming out of the large language model, the supervised fine tuning model. So text was given input, the first response, second response, and that is what given. Now you tell the AI to give the preferred summary in this particular format. This is an example you have given and follow the instructions and the examples above. And now you're going to give the sample to find, uh, annotate by the AI. So you're going to give this entire detail and then ask the AI to come up with the answer. And that is exactly what is happening. So you have the preamble, the sample to annotate and the COT chain of thought ending. And then it finally gives you the preference. Summary one has a preference, summary two has a preference. And that is how you have been, or they have been using AI to do the reinforcement learning or get the label data without human beings. And I think this is definitely an interesting aspect. And uh, this is something that a lot of people are quite looking forward to because RLHF has been a bottleneck. And we have seen in the news that um, OpenAI hired a lot of workers from Kenya or other developing nations where the cost is less for them to spend, but also use those human beings to actually mark or label or annotate these responses from these large language models so that they have a better model. And still a lot of people think that they've done a very good job with RLHF and that's why ChatGPT responses are very human-like. But now having seen that RLAF could be a viable opportunity for RLHF, 
it is uh, it is a it is a very interesting aspect if you're a technologist it is not a very interesting aspect if you're a social scientist like now it also poses more questions about like what is the role of human beings in the large language model life cycle and development so that is a totally different philosophical and economical discussion that i don't want to get into it but having said all of this once again i would like to remind that this is on a particular task of summarization it is completely possible that human beings have preferred rlaf only in summarization maybe it may not generalize so we'll wait for some other paper for us to realize whether it can generalize overall this is an interesting aspect i absolutely loved reading this paper it's quite english i'll link the paper in the youtube description if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting